I've had a number of the new guys write in saying, you know, one of the biggest problems I'm having is when I'm going up a hill and I need to drop a gear and it's just not working for me. What am I doing wrong? There are a couple ways to do this, go about this and go about this smoothly. So let's talk about that for a minute. So the truck is starting up a steep grade. You're losing your RPM. The truck is slowing down. And by the time you go to go from ninth to eighth, by the time you try to complete that shift, you've blown it. And the truck is, you've, you've got to stop the truck on the hill because you've missed the shift. Instead of letting the truck fall all the way down, when you're watching your RPM, watch your RPM. So ordinarily, if you'd shift out at 1500, something you can do is shift early. Shift it out at 1800, bring it from 9th to 8th at 1800, and by the time you complete the shift you'll have lost that 300 rpm gap because the truck relies on speed and momentum but when you're going up a hill and the steeper the hill and the heavier the load the more quickly you'll lose momentum so to compensate for that the one thing you can do is shift early you can pull it out of gear at 1800 instead of 1500 and complete the shift down from 9th to 8th and you can do it that way and something else i recommend is using the clutch on these shifts too because if you're trying to trying to float the gear down and you miss it, it's going to be even uglier. So there's the first way to approach this. Shift out early. Pull it out of your gear early and slide it back in early. Watching the RPMs the whole time. And you're just gauging it on the RPM gauge. Watch the needle, see where you are. The second way you can do this, and the way that I was usually more inclined to do this, is if you're shifting out, out of ninth and you've got to drop a gear, I would let my truck, my truck has lots of torque, so it would pull fairly hard and fairly low. I would pull it out at 1500 and then out of ninth, instead of going for eighth, I would go for seventh gear. And the timing is just right because by the time you've lost your momentum and your speed in between gears, you can go from ninth to seventh and just skip a gear, use the clutch and proceed that way. And then you haven't lost the flow, you haven't lost the momentum, the impact on the on the uh, drive shaft isn't nearly as hard if you're using the clutch. Your speed should line up just just nicely if you skipped a gear doing that and and go about it that way. So you can shift out early or you can skip a gear on the way down and you can do either one of these things all the way down until you've reached the gear that's going to take you to the top of the hill and it won't hurt anything if especially if you're using the clutch. You're not going to hurt the truck or the drive line at all. You're just becoming smoother because you're helping the truck find the right gear at the right speed. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to match the gear to the speed that the truck's moving. So you can either shift out early and complete the shift early, higher in the RPM range, or you can skip a gear altogether and just keep skipping gears all the way down until you're as low as you need to go till you hit the top of the hill. And it's it's just like everything else in trucking. Practice makes perfect, so don't get frustrated if you don't get it the first couple times. But, but try these two techniques. And remember, the steeper the hill or the heavier the load, the more it's going to change your shift pattern. So you need to compensate for that, either by shifting at higher RPMs or dropping a gear lower. Remember, the final goal here is to be as smooth as possible in the operation of the truck. Smooth is what you're after. Smooth is what's going to make you a professional. You want to do it smoothly. And I don't recommend floating gears down, especially if you're fairly new to this, because you can create some damage to, to the drive line and the clutch. And you don't want to be ripping out the clutch and stalling it on the hill. And you don't want to be sitting on the hill, on the grade, trying to pick it up from a dead stop in first gear. Because then that's just a struggle all the way to the top of the hill or you're crawling up to the hill in first gear because you can't you can't up shift it's it's even harder so try these two tricks i think i think you'll find they'll work well for you just you know it's it's christmas eve here and every christmas i think of the old guy that i saw dressed up in the in the santa suit uh headed east on i-80 and we were all uh rushing home trying to get home for christmas we were all loaded and there were a pack of us and and up comes Santa Claus driving a truck in the middle of the pack and and uh, he's he's got the whole deal going he's got the suit he's got the old school bell ringing he's he's laughing and joking on the CB just dressed up to the nines like Santa 
So <laughs> kind of a nice sight to see, you know, because you're all stressed, you want to get home, the weather's not that great, it's closing in, and here comes here comes sand up beside you, and he pulls up beside you, gives you the gives you the big wave and the smile and the thumbs up. So we're headed eastbound and we're coming into Des Moines. Sure enough, the super coop is open. And uh we all rolled into the super coop and everybody was getting the green light, things were going all right, and about three trucks behind me was Santa Claus and Santa Claus got on the plate and Santa got the red light and Santa got the go around signal and we all thought oh my god no they're not going to bust Santa on Christmas Eve so we all kind of trolled we took it easy to Walcott and watch to see if Santa was going to catch up to us come out of the coop and catch up to us we never saw him the rest of the trip so I don't know what happened to Santa at the super coop that night I think of that every Christmas I think of Santa trucking eastbound on I-80 Take care you guys, have a safe holiday and I'll see you on the back hall.